So what is the best case scenario? And again, I'm, I'm saying, I'm telling you things that you all know. I and mean, if you don't know, you'll know very soon. So the best case scenario is if you had a very, very fruitful experience and, and this is being presented by publications, you know, in number, in, in, uh, in, uh, in how much citations, etc. Um, you acquired very special technological skills or unique techniques that you've, you've learned to uh, master operation of very uh, advanced and specific um, equipment, uh, or, and you have developed a special promising, inspiring scientific niche of your own because you have uh, identified a molecule or a phenomenon or whatever. It is a very good base scenario. And obviously, if you have uh, achieved all of that, you were very well equipped for scientific uh, research. Um, and then, obviously, there are offers uh, abroad, and but in Israel and abroad. And believe me, you know, faculty overseas, they know exactly how to identify he, her, or him uh, that will fit their bill, and they would therefore uh, offer them things that sometimes here in Israel we cannot. So. Again, there is a consideration, and a consideration about deciding whether to stay abroad or to come to Israel is what kinds of infrastructure you're being provided uh, with, and maybe grants, beginning grants, uh, what kind of academic track is being offered to you, and obviously personal compensation, and then the family, how old are the kids, you know, whether you, they want to stay there or, or they want to go back to the friends in Israel, et cetera, et cetera, or in the homeland in that. Uh, um, and it seems very, very simple on paper, but in real life, it is really sometimes very, very uh, difficult to really make the decision. Commissioner Kotish, wow. <laughs> so is there another possibility? Yes, as far as I'm concerned, um, I think there should be a formal pathway to industry during PhD, whether some training uh, uh, course, um, courses that I've uh, stated before, or a joint uh, university industry kind with of two mentors. And I'm very much for, uh, for considering industry-oriented possible. There is a very uh, nice model for a couple of years uh, today between the Technion and Cornell in, uh, in Roosevelt Island, New York, uh, which is called the runaway model. And people are going PhD from Israel and they are geared towards academic uh, PhD industry um, 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 uh, postdoctorate uh, or choose a mentor or a lab where you know that they, they there is an applied uh, scientific research and also good relationships uh, with the industry in the I lot. And the reason for that is that, as I said before, the positions in the university are limited and there are more and more opportunities in the industry provided you have uh, the right tools. So let's just run swift through science abroad. And if you want uh, uh, a, more, a more dedicated um, presentation to science abroad, we we'll do it later on. So the way back home, by the way, you know, the number of uh, foreign doctors in the US uh, are the highest for Israeli. It is from 2016, I couldn't find anything uh, more recent. And what is the organization doing? First of all, uh, the academia, um, we want to uh, equip or, uh, or enhance the, uh, the possibility of uh, both the academia and the postdocs to know each other uh, and to try to best to have the best fit, but also the industry. I'm there for two years, and my mission is really to augment uh, this pathway to industry because I think the future of postdoctorates is in the, in the industry. So we have local communities, geographic communities that are um, interact with, uh, and I know that there are a couple of people over here. Um, you know, it's a community. They celebrate. Uh, um, uh, they, they celebrate um, uh, all different um, 
uh, holidays together, they, they teach Hebrew for some of the kids, you know, after two, three years, they maybe speak Hebrew, but don't hardly read or, or speak in the, uh, Hebrew. And if you want, if you have a new mind going back to Israel, you have to, um, to keep that as well. We have also professional communities according to disciplines, and it's all over the world, and most of them are online. Uh, in recent year, in the last year, we have added MDs because there are a lot of uh, physicians uh, there, and uh, many of them are staying abroad because they are being offered, you know, the world there, and we want to bring them back. There is shortage of, uh, of uh, uh, physicians in Israel. Uh, there is an online uh, community, very active Facebook community. We have scientific symposiums throughout the years on, on different uh, topics. Um, we have a workshop in Israel for a couple of days, uh, almost a week, where people are coming to Israel and are going through the industry in a very kind of um, uh, orchestrated and very um, uh, um, ar arranged um, uh, situation. Uh, recently, this is uh, this year, it's the second cohort of science cement, which is again providing a PhD um uh, people uh, holding phd degree with the tools necessary uh, to function in the industry finance and marketing and uh, management etc um and based on the insights that we got from science men which by the way is in collaboration with the israel innovation authorities we are now this year launching the uh, science abroad campus those um um, um courses online uh, product development and others, and I encourage you to look, uh, especially for the ones that are abroad, also in Israel. Um, there are a couple of, um, um, more than just a few such programs by any university, including leading universities, but we have the Israeli touch to it, and it's, I think, very important. Uh, we are now compiling uh, a database on quantum and AI, again, with the uh, um, uh, expectation to bring those researchers back home, mainly to the industry. Uh, we have fly, flight grants, very highly subsidized for people to come uh, to a uh, job in interview, whether, whether in the academia or um, uh, industry. We have job centers where everybody, every member can get in and really look, and it is very being updated uh, on monthly basis, so both uh, members of the uh, network and also um, uh, empl employers in the uh, in the industry uh, can get um, access to this uh, um, information and information center in general. Um, we are very active on the public level with the uh, with ministries with uh, uh, with the CEOs, um, and this is the last slide that I have, and I brought it specifically for you because this is something new that we're going to launch. Uh, it is going to be a very uh, large kind of um, um, uh, foundation uh, investing in climate projects. And it goes along, I mean, I guess you have some uh, some issues with the climate as well. So it, 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 it is together with the Israeli uh, innovation authorities. And again, our, idea is the is um uh is to establish a deep tech ventures in the field of climate with return scientists so it will be geared to scientists coming back from abroad and um and obviously new job in this area that uh i think uh israel both the uh um, planning and budgeting committee of the council of higher education and also the iia are going to promote in the uh very um, um, recent future. So the postdoc is uh, is a major decision. It should be done, I think, very carefully, bearing in mind that we are not, not all of us will end up in the academia. So we should better, I mean, and, and now I'm addressing uh, the mentors, I'm addressing faculty with uh, PhD students, and I encourage you to really look how to try locally to bridge this gap with uh, with the industry and trying to train and give them an added value so when they go to the uh, uh, to the marketplace they are really more prepared 
and uh, more than just having uh, research skills, also can operate within the uh, realm of the uh, industry. Thank you very much.